The first step to reading your natal chart is actually getting a natal chart. There's a link in my bio to a free natal chart. Click on that and it will take you to astrocharts.com. You will need to know the date, the time, and the location of your birth, as it is the point of origin for your chart. Once you have your natal chart, you will notice at the top of the page, there's a circle. On the outside of the circle, you'll see the zodiac signs. Then there's numbers in the middle, a bunch of gray dotted lines and a bunch of colorful lines. So let me explain to you what all of those things are. Your natal chart is 360 degrees around. Each of the 12 signs have 30 degrees. Notice that all 12 signs are present in your chart. Yes, you have all 12 signs in your chart. Where they happen to land, that's a different story. The point of origin for your chart is your rising sign. It's labeled on the left side of this round chart as ASC, ascendant, rising. That is the point of origin for your chart because it was the constellation that was on the horizon at the time that you were born. Now you'll look in the middle and you'll see numbers, one through 12. Going counterclockwise around, you will notice these dashed lines that are coming out from the numbers. And these dashed lines will indicate where the custom of that house is because the houses can vary in degree. Each of the houses represent a part of your life, starting with the self, which is the first house, going all the way around to intuition, which is the 12th house. Now it's not linear. You can be in any part of your life at any one time. When you look at which house is ruled by which sign, meaning the sign that is on that cusp line, going counterclockwise, even if it's a degree, that is the attitude you're gonna bring into that part of your life. Glyphs, these are the points. There's thousands of points. We just talk about the more common ones. Represent some sort of focus. Whatever sign that focus point falls under is the attitude and where it's gonna happen in your life is based on which house it's in. See all these colorful lines going all over the place? Those are aspects, depending on the degree, represent different kinds of feelings on how those focus points interact with each other. See, that's why astrologers need to see your whole chart because different attitudes come into different parts of your life and you could have a focus that stands out in one of those areas. If you're interested in getting a reading, let me know. So until next time, cheers.